Pastor Russ here with Hope for today. You know, some people can walk into a room and immediately the atmosphere is different. Maybe it's their smile or maybe their laughter. Maybe it's their gregarious, outgoing personality. Or maybe it's a grouchy, grumpy, never satisfied party pooper. This is a simple way to say that we can either influence those around us or we can be influenced ourselves. We can melt into a crowd or we can stand out from it. We can live quiet Christian lives, calling our faith private or personal, which in one sense it is. But we can also be unashamed and open about living out our faith for the world to see. In 2 Corinthians 5.20, the great missionary Paul writes these words. He says, we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, be reconciled to God. The idea that we need to be reconciled to God simply means this. We're separated from him, and we are because of our sins. As ambassadors for Christ, we get to represent him here and now. We represent him through both word and deed. Both are needed. There are some Christians who represent him only through deeds. They do incredibly great things. And a person can see that for all of their lives, but never know the background or the why behind are you doing all these kind things. On the other hand, there are some Christians that live out their faith primarily just through the word. They talk about God all the time, but often when we examine their lives, their actions don't back it up. We need to be both word and deed Christians. If we do that, we truly are Christ ambassadors, and God will use our lives to influence others towards a relationship towards Jesus Christ. That indeed is our calling.